Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This video is all about teaching you how to be successful at growing butternut squash. Butternuts are a winter squash, which means they just store really well. Butternut squash will store easily three months in your house. So we are on the opposite side to where I planted four plants. The plants are a total of about 90 days old. Um, they were started as transplants for two or three weeks. And I think these plants probably been growing here about nine weeks in the ground. So it's the middle of August and these were started, let's say, about the beginning of June. They're doing extremely well. The vines are gonna get easily 12 feet long to 18 feet long, so you're gonna need space for them. These are the newer vines that have crept out from where I planted the plants and they're doing pretty well. A little bit of powdery mildew in places. I've gotten behind on my spraying, but I will get back into my routine and I use neem oil, I use baking soda spray. I will help manage these. First thing I wanna show you is the production. So the newer plants, your butternut squash, as they're growing, are gonna look something like that. To harvest butternut, you want it to be about this size and it's gonna get this color. Now, if it turns this color while it's smaller, Looks like it stopped growing, it's ready to be picked. But generally speaking, they're gonna be about this size, a nice tan color. So we have one in my hand, two, three, back there is four, up there, a little tiny one, five, six, we're gonna do a count too, seven, eight, as we're walking around. Way back there, nine, you can see that it's still flowering. The vine continues all the way down here into the ground, 10. So you are gonna need a lot of space. We'll go over trellising when we go inside the garden to where I planted the original four vines. The one thing I wanna show you, I've talked about this before, is that these vines will send out anchor roots and you can see right in there. It's important to trellis your butternuts up the trellis, back down again, let some vines um, crawl across the ground and establish these secondary root systems because vine borers do tend to come and take out your squash, your zucchini. Winter squash, like the butternut, are a little bit more resistant to the vine borer, but if that vine borer gets into the original planting area where you put your seed or your transplant and damages the uh, stem right at that root system, you could have these backup roots that will keep your butternut going. So it takes about 90 days for these to really start producing. Coming in onto the inside of the garden, this is where I put in four plants. You can see that some of the vines are trellising this way. They're even moving and working their way out to the side of the garden. There was another one, say let's call this one down here, 12, one behind that leaf, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, one over here, 18, one up there, 19, one down there, 20, one down on the ground there, 21. So about 20 butternut squash here. They're gonna store again for up to three months, if not longer. So nice and green, a little bit of powdery mildew coming in. This is where I planted the transplants. There are two vines, two transplants right there and then two more over there. Trellising is set up with two T-posts, one there, one there. This is concrete mesh, it's about six feet tall. You could use fencing, um, maybe four feet wide, but you wanna give them a nice place to trellis. Now, when the vines went up, they also sent out side shoots. I let some of them crawl across the ground to put out those anchor roots. You can see in here, there is some die off. That is actually the acorn squash that is over here on the left. But the older leaves are getting beat up. That's fine. This growth didn't really come from, you know, this special magic fertilizer. It came from consistent watering, which I'll talk about in a second. Fertilizer, when I set this up, I just cleared out the space, a couple handfuls of granular organic, mixed it in, I put in the transplants. Every 30 days, I scattered a little bit more organic granular fertilizer across the top, but I watered this every 10 to 14 days with fish emulsion for like the first 60 days. You don't have to be exact, but that was just to get this plant established with the organic fertilizers, and it's pretty much been going on its own. It's crawling everywhere, so it's pulling fertilizer from different places. Now, the key, watering 
is your best friend. And even after doing this for 20, 30 years, I increased my watering routine with a lot of my plants, but especially the uh, summer squash and the winter squash. The top four to six inches of your soil are loaded with surface roots. It's good to do a deep watering, get down to those deep roots. But by watering three times a week, maybe four times a week, soaking that top four to six inches, this plant just went crazy. And that's the whole key. Watering's gonna vary based on the size of the plant, temperatures outdoors, but when they start getting to this size and you're in the middle of uh, the heat of summer, you know, at least three times a week, really soaking down that top four inches. And then put down some mulch. When you have sun beating down on the soil, it heats that soil up. Mulch helps keep it cooler. Cooler soil means better growth. So this is the front side of the planting area. Let's go to the other side of this trellis. Here is the back side of the trellis. And again, here's a butternut that's ready to harvest. They can stay on these vines for a long time too. And that one was ready to come off. Beautiful. Now, this is about the right size. Remember, when they're this color tan, this size, they're ready to pull off. They could be a little bit smaller. You're gonna have some die off from older vines, but look how, and older leaves, but look how nice and green these are. So, middle of August, these are gonna get uh, fed the water soluble fertilizer today, fish emulsion, just soak it in, handful of granular fertilizer, and that'll be enough to keep these going into the fall, into September. Also gonna spray this with baking soda spray, help try and get some of that powdery mildew under control. We've had high humidity, thunderstorms every day for a week, I mean, these plants are just getting beat up, but they're doing really, really well. I'm gonna be getting at least 20 to 25 butternut squash off of these plants. And I just wanted to just show you the growth. I mean, they've grown from this space onto my compost bins, down into my compost, and they're still going. Let them anchor. That's something that people don't really understand is that these roots will be put out all over the place. That will help prevent that vine borer from taking out your plant. Four plants in here, plenty of squash, a spray routine every 10 to 14 days with whatever uh, fungicide you want to use. Feed them about a m every month with an organic granular just scattered across the surface and then fish emulsion every 10 to 14 days. These are wonderful plants to grow in your garden. A great storage crop. So come September, October when your garden dies out, you can still be cooking produce from your garden. I highly recommend the butternut squash. Let me pick a bunch of these and just show you at the end here what I'm getting for this week of harvest. Back where we started, I harvested five of the butternuts. One, two, three, four, five. This one's a little bit smaller, but it's that tan color. Today's August 19th. These will last easily into October. I have three more that'll be ready in a couple of weeks. Another one that'll be ready after that. This plant, if you take care of it, will keep producing until a frost comes in. Now the key, I just want to stress again, is more watering than you might think. The more water that you give these plants, the better that they're going to produce. Thanks so much for watching, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.